It looks like the video is recording now, so let's get started. Hey everyone, it's Cool Kid here, and it's time for the final video of 2021. So yeah, if you haven't been watching my channel, not for very long, or heck, even if this is your first year of watching my channel, you might not know this, but every year I do a final video of blank year, which this year is 2021, and in this video I usually talk about, you know, cool stuff that's happened throughout the year, or, you know, things uh, about my channel and the videos that I've done, and the other stuff about the year that I just want to talk about at the end of the year. Actually, I, I should mention something. This is the first year where I'm actually recording this on New Year's Eve, actually the final day of the year for, you know, a lack of better purpose, which usually doesn't happen. I always usually record in advance, but hey, it's the first time and hopefully I'll, you know, upload this before it's next year. But I, I should be able, because with these videos, I don't really edit much, so if there's any background noise or whatever, who cares? If anything weird happens, it's fine. It, 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 let's just get with it. So, um, yeah, what, what should I say about this year? I mean, I guess first thing, um, I don't know if it's just me, but this year felt so slow, but at the same time, so fast. Like, I, I don't know if anyone else, like, had, you know, this problem or whatnot, but it, to me, it felt like that. That was kind of weird, but uh, yeah, there was that. Um, oh yeah, freaking on the, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, you know, we, the Sonic news that we got, the Game Awards, God, that was, that was, that was honestly so, so freaking cool because we got the, you know, Sonic uh, a Movie 2 trailer came out and I'm so excited to see that next year and then we got the new sonic game which you know we i think yeah i think earlier in this year we kind of already knew we're getting a new one but uh finally we get to see what it is sonic breath of the wild i mean that that is kind of a weird combination personally but uh hey, hey don't don't worry about it i'm sure it'd be cool and plus even if it's bad I, I mean, I like Sonic stuff, so, I don't know, some people might not know this, but I'm a fan of Sonic, it's one of my favorite gaming franchises, even though th there are definitely bad games, even if there's bad games, we can all agree, the soundtrack would be, s it's going to be so amazing, because, like, e even, like, even Sonic Forces, which a lot, I know some people think is a bad Sonic game, I, I think it's just alright. But, uh, yeah, even those people would agree. It's like, yeah, it sucks, but you, you gotta admit, the soundtrack does, uh, it's pretty bopping. So, yeah, definitely for those stuff coming out, I think it's next year? I think both of them come out next year, so yeah. Um, oh yeah, also at the Game Awards, they did the, you know, whole thing for the Cuphead DLC coming out next year? Yeah, the Cuphead DLC that's coming out next year, which... Oh boy, I, I freaking love that, the Game Awards, and, you know, honestly, I'm a sucker for classic cartoon art style, so, yeah, but I, that, that's my kind of jam. Um, what else can I talk about? Uh, before getting into talking about my content, um, oh yeah, the last Smash DLC came out this year. Smash Ultimate has finally ended, and, oh my god, still unbelievable that... You know, Smash Ultimate is finally over, with its final DLC character being Sora, which, you know, I, I do gotta, because I, I gotta be straight up. Sora, the reveal, actually made me cry. It, it legitimately made me cry. I don't cry very much to things, but, my, my god, it is really over. And, you know, I do regret not making a Smash video, or a reaction, or whatever, but I, I still love it. I, I I still love it. I, I, I do kind of want to make like a retrospective, uh, you know, Smash Ultimate video, maybe one day, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just love Smash. I love uh, how they got Sora, literally the impossible. Smash Ultimate it is the ultimate crossover of impossibilities, getting the impossible of impossible. Sora, a character 
who I like, and I want to say he's like my number one pick for a Smash character, but, you know, it's really cool. I, I like Kingdom Hearts, and, you know, getting a character who is literally almost impossible to get for legal bullshit that, you know, anyone who, who's kind of familiar with Kingdom Hearts would be like, uh, yeah, 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 we, we, we know, so we, we can't deal with that, but yeah, God. And also, I did love those, all those, um, I, I guess when Smash was over, all those tributes to Smash Ultimate and stuff, and God, Smash Ultimate does deserve it, and also, thank you, Sakurai, just, just truly, <sighs> thank you. Um, let's see, anything, there was that, um, I, I guess I should also say, this year with manga, other than, like, Attack on Titan, and like One Piece, I, I kind of, halfway in the year, I kind of dropped everything. Well, not dropped, I just, the thing was, I, I missed chapters from when I was like, oh, okay, I'll just catch up soon. And then, I never did. And the crazy thing is, I, I hear that uh, some crazy things are happening in Black Clover, and uh, freaking, what was it? Black Clover, and uh, I'm my hero, yeah, well, I was that for day, but yeah. The, the, uh, I just need to catch up with those. And also, uh, I think Dr. Stone's pretty cool. I mean, where I last left off was <laughs> insane. So, gotta, gotta catch up with those series soon. Hopefully, sooner than uh, later, hopefully. Uh, oh, yeah, all the Bleach stuff happened. But I'll be talking about that later in my videos. Because, you know, Bleach and One Piece, obviously, and Attack on Titan. God, Attack on Titan ended this year. I mean, personally, um, you know, speaking of Tech on Titan ending, I, I, I've not read Soul Leveling, but I did hear it just recently ended with its final chapter, so, you know, congratulations. I mean, not congratulations, I mean, good luck, whatever. People who like that series, good. Will I read it? I don't know. Maybe one day. But, uh, yeah, there's that. Freaking, oh, I forgot. Berserk, Berserk ended this year, God, it, it is crazy just to think about that Kentaro Mira died with Berserk in its final chapter ever. I mean, I, I don't know about this personally, I think right now, it's right now possibly the final chapter that released, I still need to catch up to Berserk, I, I will one day, I need to read all of Berserk, so there's that. Um, you know, part six came out, super excited for that. Actually, I did watch all of part six, uh, you know, but, yeah, it's, well, not watch all of part six. I've watched all of part six that's been out right now, um, so yeah, I definitely love it. I, I still think part six is definitely one of my favorite, uh, probably my favorite out of JoJo's. It's, I, I do agree that, um, Later on, the stands get, what the fuck? I don't understand what the hell is going on here. And then, uh, trust me, it, it gets basically like that. And, you know, I'll warn that for people later on. I'm really curious how, they, how the hell they'll adapt Bohemian Rhapsody. Because that, that is legal nightmare. Um, oh yeah, the uh, live-action Cowboy Bebop show came out, which... Uh, as we're going this, I finished it a couple days ago, and I do plan on making a video about it, but, uh, short thoughts, um, it, it's a very mid-show, I mean, there, there's good moments, but it's not great, and also, there's bad moments, but it's not the worst thing out there, so, yeah, I, I, my opinion is, it, it, it's a very fluxuating show of how good and bad it could be. So, yeah, that's my personal opinion on it. Um, you know, I guess that's really it that I got to say other than, oh, yeah, is, isn't it this year like a Kingdom Hearts anniversary? Hmm. So, uh, you know what? Let, let's, let's talk about all the videos I did this year. So, let's see. What did I start with? Oh, yeah, One Piece, One Chapter, 1000 Live Reaction. My god, dude, I freaking love One Piece Chapter 1000. I, I still wholeheartedly agree that it is my favorite chapter out of this year. And, you know, I, even when I did the freaking, how uh, was it? The uh, Runway Warlords, where we ranked every single chapter, except the last one, because it didn't come out at that point. But yeah, 
they they freaking put goddamn uh you know chapter one thousand to an A tier. I I don't know. I still think chapter it is my favorite chapter, and I still think there are technically better chapters. I just can't rank chapter one thousand, and you know it did everything that it needed, and oh god, it was it was so cool, and we finally can't believe this year freaking started with the start of Roof Peace. Woo! Yeah. That was so cool, and you know, and also speaking of chapter 1000, we also got episode 1000. It's crazy, I think this year's like a milestone year, because it's not like particularly an anniversary or whatever, it's just this year happens to be at like the beginning, we got chapter 1000, and at the end we got episode 1000, which I'll talk about that later on, um, you know, so yeah. Uh, we got, oh yeah, we also got the, the final, what is it, chapters, uh, 1036, uh, 37, 38, and 39. Yes, we got the final chapters of Attack on Titan, which, oh my god, that, that is crazy, I think. And hey, at least this year, I can say Attack on Titan is most definitely ended. Okay, there's there's no if ands or you know being like hopefully Siyama will make me you know say this again it'll be next year but yeah final year and I don't know reading the chapters this year they definitely felt like yes we're at the end 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 of Attack on Time they they were finalized and you know I like them I liked all the chapters this year and here's the thing about the final chapter chapter a thousand thirty nine and. Well, first, why didn't they just do a chapter 1,040, whatever it goes, but uh, yeah, chapter 1,039, I know some people didn't like it, it's very controversial, personally, I liked it, and you know, I thought this was uh, as good of a way as it ended could be, because, I don't know, personally, I feel like some people might have just hated it, because team, essentially, I, I've heard what Roger said so many times, that Team Aaron is not on Team Aaron. And I, I think I honestly, not gonna lie to you, I, I kind of a little bit expected Aaron to to do that. Like like, oh yeah, you know, I've seen the future and um, you know, I, I need to basically you know, I want you guys to be safe and whatever and do all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean it, it makes personally Makes sense, and you know, I had a little thought that Aaron might do that, but still, I think a lot of people just hated it because Aaron wasn't really on team Aaron and everything. And you know, one thing I actually really did like about the end of chapter, the final chapter, was it basically, you know, we had a time skip in the world, and in the I guess the world in general, it's like okay, Paradise Island. You know, and everyone's kind of, you know, on a, I guess, shaky, still on a shaky balance with the Jaegerist, you know, being, you know, the major power now and uh, Paradise and everything. And, you know, we got our, I guess, you know, main group trying to, I guess, store some kind of balance. And, you know, as the world, you know, might eventually lead to, I guess, another battle against the, you know, the island of paradise versus the rest of the world might happen again. But, you know, I guess the whole point is, you know, maybe we can work to an eventual peace, okay? Maybe one day, maybe it's possible. And, you know, I really liked it. It just didn't have a time skip where it's like, the world was at peace. No, that there's still kind of a shaky balance going on. So, Definitely, definitely like that. And people, they have their problems with it. And I like this chapter, some people don't. But hey, we can all agree that the uh, bonus uh, pages that were added to the final chapter ruined the chapter. We, we can all agree that. Even people who hated this chapter hated it. So hey, at least all us Attack on Time fans can agree. And also, I know some people like just say that uh, chapter... Was it? Yeah, the final chapter ruined the entire series, and like, 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 like. I, I know sometimes, a, you know, some people say, you know, the final can pretty much ruin everything, but even so, I do not think, even if this chapter 
was terrible. And you think almost every single chapter until that point was great, was fantastic. I, I don't think it ruins Attack on Titan, personally, to me, but hey, people can have their opinions. So yeah, God, I should probably say this. Um, uh, I haven't, yeah, I, yeah, I'll say this. I haven't done the, uh, I guess, last video, not last video, but yeah, but I haven't done the last chapter review of Attack on Titan yet because I'm still getting some stuff for a cosplay for that video. I want to do a cosplay doing that review, so yeah, um, you know, definitely excited for that. Also, we'll be doing a, whenever the anime ends, I'll be doing a video I've been doing a long time where, you know, it's my final thoughts on just the Attack on Time franchise as a whole. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, One Piece got talking, I'll talk about it in the end because, you know, I, I've done this throughout the entirety of the year, so yeah. Uh, I did do SBS's 98, 99. I still, for some damn reason, da damn reason, haven't done freaking, uh, you know, SBS 100, 101. I, uh, you know, I got, I gotta do that, uh, you know, at some point. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh yeah, for my April Fool's video, I did a Geography is Everything on Navarone, and honestly, you know, I, I, I'm surprised I, I did actually really good with the Tekken 101 thumbnail, and it still is probably one of my favorite videos that I've made, like, up there, because, you know, I really tried hard to emulate the Tekken 101 style, and this was before he moved houses, so I tried to do the bed thing, and, dude, Jesus Christ, I, I never want to do a video like that, but hey, at least if I try to emulate Tekken 101 style again, that, you know, I would, uh, you know, obviously, you know, have, uh, not have, but, like, if, if I were trying to emulate it, uh, again, I would actually have a room that would be way more positionally comfortable. And also, if I did that Navarone video, if anyone hasn't seen it, please watch it, because it's a video that I worked hard. Um, but uh, yeah, also I would have had this berry plush, probably would have been a better idea. You, you'll do, yeah. I would have used this berry plush in that video instead, but yeah. Natherone was pretty cool. I'm surprised that Tekken didn't do a Natherone video before. I also think Tekken, I, I didn't know this at the time, but Tekken also uploaded his own, I, I guess, uh, GRF is everything video on the same day. So, you know, coincidental. Uh, let's see, yeah, Murata ended, died this year, dude, it, it's just, it's just sad to think about when the legends have died, and I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll have a more bigger thoughts when I actually do read it, uh, the final video on my laptop, yeah, my old laptop, which I would be pulling out, except I don't have it, oops, sorry, maybe, maybe one day. Okay, yeah, there's that. Uh, also, oh yeah, there was the One Piece Global Popularity Poll, which, oh my god, that, that was so cool, and I am glad for that Global Popularity Poll, the way it ended, and actually I have the results right over here. Like, we got Shoo Shoo 100, thank god, Panda Man 97, uh, there's, all, there's like all these weird rankings, Akoshiro 83, like honestly, some people want Orlumbus 78. I know a lot of people wanted uh, the results to be like, no, vote for the characters you actually want to vote for. Don't fool, you know, a rally for some random ass meme character. But I think it makes more fun. And even though someone like Luffy, you know, actually uh, did get number one, which is the equivalent of if Disney did a popularity poll, it would be Mickey, then Donald Duck. Yeah, it literally is, like, the equivalent of that. But, yeah, definitely love the breaking. What? Whoop slap at number 73. God, I, I can't believe that. Yamato number 11, which I don't think Yamato was in the anime at that point, so that was crazy. Carrot number 8. Like, all these upsets, I, I, I love. I, I love when popularity polls don't give you the obvious answer when people rally for this. and Actually, the crazy thing I still remember, 
about Carrie was Japan. She wasn't ranked highly. And the fact that Japan actually can, you know, mail in answers, which gives them more points, because everywhere else you can only submit an answer online, which gets one point. And somehow Carrot still m got more folks than freaking Ace, Sabo, Yamato, freaking Shanks. It it's just crazy to think about. But, uh, yeah, you know, I definitely love the popularity poll, and it was fun with everything. I don't know if we're going to do another one. Personally, I think we might do another one when, like, the final year of the manga is, but, yeah, I don't see that for a while, but, yeah, the global popularity poll was definitely fun. Um, oh, yeah, I did a fun little thing with my friends where I battled for Candyland for the Battle of the Emerald Guidebook, which, uh, you know, we, we still haven't got our shit from Elmer Folkster's I know you said when we, when we, you know, me in person again, but you better, you better have that on hand, Owner's Folkster. Uh, dude, I played the final hour of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. God, that, that was fun. Even though I stopped playing Union Cross for a long time, dude, it was, it was a fun time. And, you know, so much uh, mobile game memories from there. Just, just can never forget about Union Cross. I also think it was weird that, you know, they made an offline version, but it basically was turned into dress up in theater mode. Why? Why? Um, oh yeah, I, I remember I did the Yamato uh, Mythical Devil Fruit Zone theory video I did, and I got completely wrong. Okay, I, I, I can't believe I, I completely got it wrong, but I think everyone got that one wrong. Um, oh yeah, there was the Bleach news, which, oh my god, Bleach fans were eating this year, because we got a new chapter of Bleach. Not just that, we finally got a trailer and, like, a kind of a actual release date of, uh, you know, the Bleach anime, which I was so fucking excited for. And I, 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 just, I just love Bleach. And that final chapter was so amazing. And, you know, we're, we're definitely going to get more Bleach chapters, right? It literally ended with the cliffhanger. And honestly, I, I, it honestly went to a direction I never thought of. Which, uh, thank God we're exploring more to hell. Uh, dude, uh, I, I still need to dis like, just do a whole discussion video. I did do a reaction to it. But yeah, that was cool. And the fucking God... Damn, bleach, uh, ch not chapter, but yeah, the, the the reaction to the, you know, anime trailer was so cool with the Thousand Year Blood War arc. It looks so nice. I can't wait to see it in October. Oh, let's see. There's the, oh yeah, I unboxed Scott Pilgrim. I thought that was a cool enough game. Uh, oh yeah, the, the Rocketon E casting call, which, uh, Actually, I didn't get anything, but hey, congratulations to everyone who uh, made it. They're, they're all pretty cool people. So yeah, oh yeah, I did my Deltarune catch-up streams, and I actually finished Deltarune. Yes, a or at least chapter one of a Let's Play I did so many years ago. God, at least I can at least I can say I finished uh, something with uh, Deltarune. That was, that that was honestly pretty cool. Other videos I did this year are, uh, oh yeah, I did those, uh, unboxing videos of those, uh, Earthbound merchandise from, uh, Fangamer. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. I did unbox the, uh, Psychokinetic, uh, fanzine, the album, and I also unbox, uh, the Hatness and Franklin badge, which, um, I got, to. Uh, my good old hatness right here, which I've actually been wearing a lot more than I personally thought I would be wearing it. But yeah, it's a really nice hat. And you know, honestly, I think most of anything other than, you know, it being an unboxing or whatever, I, I do like, not, not likes, but I, I thought it was cool that, you know, a lot of people actually want to see, you know, these, I guess, Earthbound videos in kind of some kind of shape or form. Because I, I genuinely like Earthbound. Er, Earthbound is one of my... Uh, favorite RPGs of all time, and, you know, I'm, I, I'm just glad that it's getting a lot of views, but I, I don't know if it's because I post them on the Earthbound subreddit, which, you know, 
cool things over there. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I like that kind of stuff. I, I want to do, like, more Earthbound videos. Like, Earthbound discussion videos. I really can't think of any good ones. But, uh, you know, if I come up with a good one, I'll do that. I'm, I might do, uh, I don't know. I was thinking about doing a Let's Play of, like, you know, Earthbound Beginnings, Earthbound, Mother 3. I, I was thinking about that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe in the future. And plus, you know, all this stuff from Fangamer, they're all high quality, you know, uh, freaking merchandise. This, the uh, pretty cool uh, zine, or, well, this is the album and the zine and all the uh, other stuff that I got. And plus, uh, you know, I, I still got a couple of other things like uh, the shirtness, which I got. I, I still need to record the unboxing for that, but yeah, I got the uh, shirtness, I need to get backpackness, and the two other items from Van Gamer, the, what was it, yeah, the Mother 3 uh, guidebook and the Earthbound uh, guidebook, so I, I, I need to get those, uh, you know, sooner than later, but uh, yeah, you know, more, you know, Earthbound Mother content, the merrier. I, I, I just can't wait to do that stuff. Uh, let's see what's after that. Uh, oh yeah, for Halloween, I uh, did the final Burn the Witch chapter review, or well, chapter four. I, I'm pretty sure we're getting more Burn the Witch uh, chapters, which uh, I got the I got the fantastic uh, book and manga right here, which I still somewhat regret not getting the deluxe version from Germany. Why, why the hell's Germany got such a nice, uh, you, you know, uh, deluxe version, like the, the Berserk ones? I don't know why, but God, I do wish uh, I could get the, but you know, still Burn the Witch, the first four chapters, plus uh, the one shot, I was surprised at this, but yeah, chapter four, that chapter view was pretty cool, and plus, you know, it was very Halloween-y, and plus I got my, actually, no, I'll get it over here since it's literally just off screen. Let me, you know, uh, get this ready for my freaking, uh, you know, flannel cape, because everyone knows real witches were flannel, specifically flannel capes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, flannel. Yeah, look at my totally awesome flannel cape. Okay, this this looks weird. Especially me and the hat. And it's, well, not weird. I mean, it has some sort of style. Ah, whatever. But yeah, that chapter review was pretty cool. I, I hope we get more Burn the Witch. I don't know what freaking Kubo's going to do. Because obviously, with that, you know, one shot, there's obviously more Bleach chapters to come. But you got Burn the Witch, so... I don't know what freaking Kubo's going to freaking do. So we'll see about that in the future for my birthday. I did just a rambling video about Yamato. Look, Yamato is probably one of my favorite characters from One Piece. I mean, I don't know if you looked at my shirt, but uh, yeah, you know, that, that was a cool video to do. Plus, you know, I, there's other One Piece characters that share my birthday. So I uh, can't wait to talk about Cammy next year. I got it research about Cami. Uh, not, not a bad thing, but you know. And then, uh, oh yeah, there was that news where we got the One Piece casting and, you know, stuff about Film Red. Ooh, okay, that, that, that was exciting. I can't wait for Film Red. I mean, look, it's, it's a One Piece movie and I like these recent One Piece movies. And I always thought that they are great, so, you know, definitely excited for them. And you know, I always hear the statement of people hating on these movies being they're not canon to the story, so why does it matter? And, and the thing is, yes, but then you get shit like, uh, you know, the Dragon Ball Super arc where, uh, you know, like the Frieza Resurrection arc where, you know, the, you know, the movie is basically the same thing as the uh, anime, you know, that's when I come out and... Uh, next year or so, but, you know, it, there are obviously some kind of changes and stuff, so, you, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. Personally, I think, in my opinion, if it's a good movie, who cares if it's canon or not canon to the story, so. That's been always my statement, and that's why I've always liked movies like Strong World or Film Z, because they are genuinely good movies. 
I, I, I can't disagree about that. And, you know, obviously this film red's not just going to be about Shanks. But Shanks is going to play a part. Can't wait to see what it is. Uh, then we got the live action casting, which they're all cool and all. I, I like them well enough. I'm, I mean, from what I've seen, I, I, I just want to see them more in action before I give a final opinion. But right now, look cool. Uh, let's see, there's the episode 1000 reaction, which that, that was really cool. The final episode, not the final episode, episode 1000. It was really cool. It, I know the one, I haven't seen the long anime at all. I dropped it back in Dress Rosa. I've seen like clips and stuff of the fights and big important moments, but you know, I haven't. And watching episode 1000 kind of made me realize, okay, maybe I just need to catch up just for the long anime. I'll just watch the start of the Wano and catch up there. And, you know, I, I think that, especially, I still got, I don't know. I feel like I got to at least watch up to the end of the Owen flashback because, oh my God, I, I love the Owen flashback. It's like legitimately one of my favorite moments in One Piece possibly. So yeah, and plus I liked how, uh, at least with the, I, I guess, uh, you know, the, that episode 1000, you got all, you you got the um, not the tau cards the, uh, the you, you know the transitions or whatever where it's like the old uh, you know original one piece back in the day and they got we are again they got the original opening and it started in three four by three or whatever and then it goes into widescreen that that was so cool that was legitimately like one of the coolest things about that God I I love I, I love that episode plus you know the episode. Uh, you know, I thought it was a good moment for episode 1000 where it's all the straw hats doing the cool awesome pose on the bottom floor of Onigashima. That, that was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, what, anything else? Um, you know, all the straw hats look cool in that episode. I, I do gotta admit, they made sure you didn't forget the straw hats looked cool. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I, I did the start of my Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke, which I did wipe out. And that was disappointing, but hey, I backed myself up. And, uh, oh yeah, I still have to upload episode two or three, which I did record uh, recently. I was going to record, you know, before the year ends, but I, I forgot to. And so there's that. Um, you know, I, I'll say this about my Diamond Nose Lock. And, you know, as I've been playing it, it's, it's been fun. It's, it's been fun, and... You know everything. I can't wait to do more, and hopefully this won't become Shield Nuzlocke where I don't complete it. Which I will complete Shield Nuzlocke one day, one day. Uh, oh yeah, and during the break I uploaded two videos. Not the break, but yeah, when I was on vacation, I uploaded two videos that I did in advance. The Lunarian video, which was a pretty cool video. It's it's nice doing a good old theory discussion video, which. I really need to go back and doing more of that. And then we got the, uh, you know, Fan Gamer Mystery Poster Box, which was cool. I like all the posters that I got, even though I already own one of them, but uh, uh, what, what can you do about that? Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's it with all the content. But okay, block talking about One Piece. I think One Piece was really, really good this year. Because thinking about it, we start with Rufus and we end with uh freaking what was it yeah zoro defeating king which oh my god all that stuff freaking in between like was so awesome like you know all those chapters where you you know freaking uh kid in law they they have you know they, they had come up away with knocking out big mom nami's power uh freaking uh conjuro's final I guess Bout, even though uh, he still somehow survives Otama giving the order, uh, the little mini flashback with uh, Yamato and with everything. Got Yamato's full zone finally shown. And then we got the, you know, the defeat of all the Toby Ropo and everything. And oh my god, that was so god damn cool. It freaking... And King and Queen knocked down. Like, all this stuff happens this year. And it was really hard to rank, you know, by, like, you know, when we did the Runaway Warlords and we talked about, you know, ranking every chapter. It was really hard. Damn. 
it was really hard, but I think that's a good thing because there is no bad chapter. No bad chapter this year. And even though there are some that I probably would like more than others, I, I think this year has been fantastic for One Piece. One Piece has not been going downhill to uh, some, some people would like to stay, but uh, yeah, just... I love One Piece. I love talking about it, and especially with the Runaway Warlords every day. Not every day, but like every week it was so cool. Which I shouldn't mention. I, I don't know. Uh, I'll just say this. Uh, you know, the live reaction to the chapters of the Runaway Warlords. Um, then I wouldn't say stop, but we might be going on to a little break soon. Because, okay, here's the thing, guys. The, but but you, here, here's the thing. This, at the beginning of next year, we might be taking a little break. I, I don't know the reasonings for that or something. That I, I might be completely wrong, so just warning you, uh, you know, if you're for the live reactions for the chapters, that's probably not going to be, you know, for a little bit. But hey, you know, who, who, who knows? Who knows? I could be completely wrong, but we'll see. We'll see. I still do the chapter reviews, which... I know technically uh, chapter 1036 came out unofficially, but I'll, I'll wait for the official release because uh, that, that came out while I was on vacation. Uh, sorry, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Bad. So yeah, that'll be for next year. And um, that's all the videos. There, there were a couple more videos I wanted to put out, like, uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Advent Calendar from just a throwback video and that, uh, you know, unboxing of shirtness. Th those two videos would have been like per both perfect Halloween videos because I had planned to do, not Halloween, but Christmas shit all over. But unfortunately, dis disappointment, disappointment. But yeah, all the videos I did this year were pretty cool. It, it was mostly this year has honestly, I, I, I still think last year I was way more diverse with the content because this year it is pretty much you know nothing but attack on time and one piece and uh you know basically uh not until let me shit when, when do i start actually making new content yeah not until like uh seven months ago damn so yeah for like the first what like uh like four to five months i've been basically just you know, doing One Piece and, you know, Attack on Titan. So th that was crazy. But hey, you know, I, I want my content to be a little bit more diverse and stuff. Because I like gaming and I like One Piece and I like anime. But, you know, I guess we can try to find a balance with that stuff. But yeah, in the future, I'll be doing more uh, One Piece, more uh, Pokemon, uh, maybe even some other type of videos. Maybe a top 10 video. You know, I probably would struggle with that. But yeah, you know, just, just cool things to mention now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, you know, as great as this year can be. Yeah. Or, or disappointing because, you know, we're, we're still in the pandemic. You know, I thought we'd be out. But no, we, we can get through this. And let's hope 2022 is a better year. Because it can, it can, if it goes dead, whatever. Just, you know, hope you guys have a happy new year. Um, you know, a great time with your family and whatnot. Just just hope things go well for you guys. I I just hope you, your year is as good as, you know, mine or hell. Even have a better next year than mine, okay? That that's what I want you to do. That's what I want. But uh yeah. You know, I have more content on the horizon, some planned stuff. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, see ya. Probably next video will probably be me uploading the, uh, you know, Pokemon Nuzlocke stuff. I, I still got a couple things. Uh, oh yeah, also, uh, you know, just a reminder, I got a Twitch. Uh, watch that shit. It, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I do Pokemon Nuzlocke every Friday. Uh, I didn't do them while I was on Christmas break, but... Uh, yeah, I, I know this video is a Friday, so I guess next Friday? Yeah, next Friday, I'll be starting them back up. Yeah, that, that seems like a good place to be. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty reasonable.
Actually, you know what's a video I plan to do this year? Because I went to two conventions. And I plan to do videos about talking about them and the cool shit that I got. I just never did that. That really sucks. Oh yeah, I never did the 50 subscriber special. Oh shit, I got I gotta get that done soon. But uh yeah, I don't know. What do you guys celebrate New Year? I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's the, you know, countdown and whatever. But, uh, yeah, just just real curious what, what you guys do for New Year. Because I can't think of anything specifically. So, yeah. God, I can't, I can't really think of anything. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just personally excited for... Bleach shit next year, so bleach, bleach, bleach. Which uh, just just remember, I I'll try. I don't know if I will able to do this, but I want to do a full on just bleach discussion video. Like not not about a single chapter or episode, but like a full on discussion video. I want to do that, and also maybe like episode reviews, or maybe even episode live reactions. Uh, God, I don't know if uh, that that would be okay with YouTube, but hey, man. Whoever gets the ball rolling. See you guys later. I don't know. Earthbound content soon.